because we're going to we're going to be contacting you. There's hundreds of people. I said not just opposed to this, but fiercely opposed to this, and we haven't even started serious canvassing yet. So I said, so you better be ready for opposition on this. Someone asked him if he's up for re-election, and he is. So I saw, um, I'm not saying, we need to put pressure on him. This is statewide. We need to go outside of Lexington County and put the pressure on him. I think he realized that he's going to be, he's going to have a battle when we were there. Yes, sir. Well, well that's why I would think it would be uh, illegal anyway and then shut it down. <laughs> well, exactly. Well, his argument was that the law enforcement is trying to arrest these people and they're not successful or they keep getting out or whatever. And I said, well, met, you know, somebody having a nice lawn, how is that going to solve the problem? Well, you just had a meth lab in my lawn. They'll just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, the meth great. lab cuts cigarettes. And you know, like, uh, his argument was very, very weak. So I don't know if, um, was there, what else did they talk about? Oh, Charlotte, you want to talk up here, Charlotte? No, I don't. Well, I just want to say today, I contacted WISWLPX, the state, and I tried two others, but then my link broke down. Um, please notify the news media throughout the state. Y'all call them and tell them that this is a point of interest to you and that you want to know what's going on. So that, so that we get the news media out there involved in it. Because if they don't know it's happening, they're not going to report it. And if they don't know we're interested in it, they're not going to report it. And, and several people brought up the, um, the phrase, you know, uh, hell was uh, paved with good intent, the road to hell was paved with good intentions. We said, you're a nice guy, you know, you probably have good intentions. But what you're doing is you're basically saying this group of people no longer truly have property rights and we are allowed to you know infringe on their property rights because they're not um they're not uh what do you call it residential yeah he said they were uh, out, out of state absentee right they were so, out of state. Um, you know once you start on one group you know first they came for the communists etc cetera, et cetera, and all the it, this country, the whole problem we have today is because it's incrementalism. So once you let them go in the opposite direction, where does it end? So I think he got, uh, go ahead. He was doing it for the Aiken County Sheriff, and he said there's two districts in northern Aiken County, Bath and Langley, that have a problem with this. The Bath and The Bath and Langley. So it's harder. Does anybody have any questions? How many people were there? Let's go home, please. Like a dozen. It wasn't. It wasn't very. Um, it, I thought a lot more people would show up, but the people that were there were pretty adamant. We passed I can't hear. That said, uh, we were clearly against the property police, and I think he is uh, realizing that he's going to have an uphill battle on this. So we got to put a lot of pressure on. Look what we did to County Council. Um, you know, I've been spreading the word on Facebook and trying to get the word out to everybody. Yes, sir. You were there when I told him that uh, the way you tell when lawyers and uh, elected officials is lying is when their lips is moving. Uh, <laughs> I, found out that I found out that he was a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> he got double trouble. Yeah. He said it was for the children, and I said, you know, that's a line the Democrats have used over the years, and you should be ashamed of yourself because when you're saying something is for the children, that's a cop out. So I was kind of mean to him. One of the things that we were questioning is we defeat Lexington County, but can they bring it back? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, they can. Yes. Yes. I have a thousand flyers I printed and I get, didn't get a chance to get them out, so if they bring them back, I'm ready. <laughs> if anyone hasn't signed the Lexington County specific property police ordinance, I have them here. Um, and if you have any that you've collected, if you can turn them in to me. Because we need to follow up with these people, A, to keep them posted on what's going on with the ordinance and B, because we need to continue to grow these uh, groups that we have so we can, we can, you know, restore liberty because we're going to need more manpower. But we're on the right track. We just need more people. So let me know. 
Yes, sir. I think that they're not done with us yet. They're going to try it again. Oh, yeah. They still got the third third vote yet. They just well, have to hold public air. Well, freedom requires eternal vigilance, so we're, we're not, it's never so been. So are they still going to vote on it again? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I'll see that. I'll explain that for y'all right there. Okay. But, but all, all they got to do now, they don't have a second reading. Okay. Before third reading, in other words, the first reading they passed, the second reading they didn't pass. Oh, yes. That's before the third reading, reading they have to have a public hearing, <clears throat> and they have to post a public hearing ten days before the public hearing in a local newspaper. It can be either in the Chronicle or in the state newspaper. A little ad at any time in any page. In any and, paper? In, no, in the state paper or the Chronicle. Either one of those. Wide papers. circulation is a term. They either put it in the Chronicle or it can be put in the state. It can be put in the state. It can be put in one of the two papers. And, and they flip back and forth and they can hide it and have it embedded. And if you don't see it, then it's tough luck. And then they have the public hearing. It will be the public hearing <coughs> has to be announced. <coughs> Uh, on Friday before the, the the public hearing, they'll put it on the agenda, and then after that they can vote for it any time. And if they vote and five of them pass it, it's a done deal. So we'll at least worst case scenario have the Friday agenda yeah. posting to I, gather up the truth. They have to have it at a regular meeting, though, right? I contact on Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. Uh, clerk to the council, Diana or Kevin. And what and I cause I asked them who is it that puts the ad in the paper? And about ninety percent of the time it's her. Other times it's somebody in economic development. But all we have to do is call them up and say, hey, have you put the ad in the paper for that hearing yet? We can email them too to yeah, get a document email. every day. That's right. Did you put you it in yet? Did you put it in yet? Did you put it in yet? But I think it was, uh, you mentioned 10 days. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 10 days. Yeah. So we haven't won yet. So, okay, so we We've had two. <coughs> okay. Now, have they said? It's 15 days you have. Have they said anything about them proceeding at this point? Like. What's their position? You said they can say anything? No, 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 I know. But they might have said something. Well, they can say anything. Well, I know. But they might have admitted that they're going to continue. I'm just curious. Yeah, but they can go to Canada. Yeah. Well, how many people were over there? But they can say anything they want. But until they can have to have a third reading. Yeah, they can say anything they want. They're going to have to have a third and final vote. If they vote against it, then it's. Two, two to three, and, and it's a no deal. But it's already one and one. It's kind of like uh, the World Series. One and one, the, the, the next one, it, it, either they gonna kill it or it's gonna be a home so, run. Does anybody else have any questions about the meeting we came from? If not, I'll... No. Yeah. Okay. 